Hi, Happy New Year to you, and welcome to another exciting edition of Johnny and the Spot Sports. Avid Sox fan and pickup basketball player, you know him as the POTUS, Barack Obama, has been named the most admired man of 2010. Least admired? That guy. I don't know about you, but every time I see a Zigtech shoe, I see a diverticulated colon. Legendary quarterback Brett Favre was fined $50,000 by the NFL for his lack of cooperation in the Jen Sturger sexting saga. $50,000 is 0.3% of his salary, which is about right because his man junk represents about 0.3% of his body. Well, I've got to admit it, my Chicago Bears have been getting an incredible amount of breaks this year, facing third-string quarterbacks week after week, stadiums imploding from the snow, coaches embroiled in controversies about their wives' feet. More about that in just a moment. The Bears are facing the Packers this weekend. Packers are favored by 10 points. My prediction is the entire Packer team gets leprosy, Aaron Rodgers' arms fall off, and the Bears play the Packers in a leper colony. Yes, in Philadelphia, Eagles fans and Governor Ed Rendell were more than a little miffed about a game between the Eagles and the Vikings that was canceled due to snow and moved to Tuesday night. Rendell went on to say, we're a nation of wussies. Here's his quote, the Chinese are kicking our butt. They would have marched to the stadium and done calculus at the same time. Yes, calculus on an abacus while eating rice and carrying a rickshaw where wearing a wacky hat and dry cleaning at the same damn time. When exactly did Ed Rendell become Don Rickles? President Barack Obama called Eagles owner Jeff Lurie earlier this week to congratulate him on giving Michael Vick a second chance after his release from Leavenworth Prison. The president's advisors say it's going to help him with Pennsylvania voters who love kitties. Does that make any sense? Anyway, 84-year-old Hugh Hefner is now engaged to 24-year-old Crystal Harris. This is just plain old gross. 84 years old. Hugh Hefner is so old he farts mummy dust. He is so old when he was a kid, rainbows were in black and white. He's so old he has to put his junk in the freezer to get hard. That's old. Soccer star David Beckham has filed paperwork declaring he did not have a threesome with a prostitute named Irma Nietzsche, who claims otherwise. Nietzsche claims that she has intimate knowledge of David's little naughty bits, saying there's a bend in Beckham and she can prove it or she'll find Beckham and bend it for him. Tiger Woods turned 35 last night and I find this very touching. He whipped out his trusty cell phone and uh, for every year that he's been on the face of this earth, he texted 35 porn stars. I don't know about you, but I just find that so, so touching. I'm so verklempt. I'm sorry, it's just so beautiful. Man, I gotta tell you, 2011, bam, time just flies, doesn't it? And famous Guidette, Snooky Paluzzi, a plan to drop from a giant ball on New Year's Eve in Times Square. And I know what you're thinking, you're probably already writing your own joke right now. So she decided finally to drop from a ball in Seaside Heights, New Jersey, her hometown, and this is exactly the 7,397th time she's gone down on somebody in New Jersey. And finally, Monster Roid had Rafael Palmero sticking to his story that a tainted vitamin shot caused his failed drug test and hopes Hall of Fame voters look past that non-room for his 569 homers. So Palmero hit almost 600 homers because he took a bunch of vitamins. Yeah, right. And Lindsay Lohan is now in rehab because she drank too much carrot juice. That's all I got. Thanks for watching Johnny in the Spot Sports. See ya. Yes, as I alluded to just moments ago, we were talking about the Rex Ryan controversy and, you know, his digging his wife's feet and that whole thing that we discussed last week, as disturbing as that message is. Anyway, you saw me painting my uh, toenail. I was just doing it for the bit. And here, here's a, a picture of that, or a little clip of that deal right here. Now, when I painted my toenail, I always say I painted one of them. Now, if I went on to paint the rest of my toes and, and did it consistently, uh, uh, did a pedicure for myself, because let's say I enjoyed uh, the process of doing it, would that be gay? That's my question. Is it gay? Please comment in the comment section below. Thank you.